All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Valhelsia 3 with your buddy Super Turtle here. Guys, today we are getting into like real power production here. We're going to get rid of these lame, lame guys because today we are making the biodiesel generator. Now I have everything already hooked up here, not hooked up, but already like crafted up here. I might have made a video on it and uh, voice mod ruined it, but we're not going to we're not going to talk about that. Um, stupid voice mod. Uh, anyway, I need to go ahead and grab the book here. I thought I had it on me. There it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we need to do. Generators, diesel generator. All right. So the first layer is going to be the three radiator blocks here in the back. All right. And then we have the six steel, steel boys here like this. Yes. Then we have the pipes like this. Tomato, tomato. And then we have this generator block here. That's not right. There we go. All right, so that's the first layer done, Ski. So let's go ahead and take a look at the second layer here. All right, so we have the three more radiator blocks here. Then we have the heavy machinery. How far? Oh, that's not right. How far forward did this, does this go? Um... So we have the generator blocks in the big, the front here, okay. And is everything else an engineering block except for this middle redstone one? There we go, and then engineer blocks here. All right, second layer is done. Final layer. Okay, so we do a plus shape up here, like. Like so. Oh my gosh. Come on, game. Work with me. Place this guy here. Okay, so that should be everything. Now we just need to get a hammer and smack it. All right, engineer's hammer. Now we got to click this guy up front. And bang, a wang, zang. Check it out. So we're going to grab a lever, put this on the back here. And... This thing is, in fact, getting biodiesel from our system over here. As you can see, it's empty. It is being pumped through the floor and over to here. Uh, but this thing will not turn on unless it has somewhere to put power. Now, that's kind of an issue because we need uh, this on to make power and we need power to make that. So we're just going to have to make some of the better high voltage uh, things from immersive engineering. Because to get the high voltage wire between the things would be crazy. Okay, so we need the better cable. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make up these guys. All right, so to make the high voltage wire connector, we need aluminum and then the terracotta. Okay, so that's not too difficult. Now, do we have any more clay left over? We got a little bit here. Um, yeah. Don't worry, guys. This means the next episode we get into Batania. Okay, so we got some more clay. We're gonna do this. We're gonna make some terracotta. Okay, so we got 16. Should be good for a little bit of stuff. Oh, baby. So you, okay, so do we we need a lot of aluminium. That makes sense because aluminum is a great conductor of electricity. But I would have thought copper or gold was a better. I think gold is actually a better. Um, conductor of electricity, so it's kind of odd that we're not doing it out of that. Hmm. Insulating glass. We need green dye, iron dust, and that. Okay. Do I not have any aluminum? Ah, a bauxite. That's what we need. Okay. I might have a little bit of bauxite. I do know where there's uh, quite a bit of bauxite, so it's not too big of an issue if we don't have any. But I haven't been mining because I didn't think I would need it. Turns out I need it. I feel stupid. All right, so it turns out I only have four bauxite ore, and I don't know if I have any more in here already. 
Uh, let's go ahead and check here. Tin, uranium, osmium, silver. Okay, so it looks like I got to go do a little bit of bauxite gathering, which is a little unfortunate. And it also looks like I can't smash it into bits. And double it. Oh, we're going to need to have to do that with a crusher. That's fun. Or we could do it with an arc furnace eventually. Okay, time to go gather up some aluminium. Okay, so the generator is on here. Uh, I put the uh, basic crushing factory up here. And as you can tell, it's pretty loud. Um, but I think we're actually out of biodiesel, unfortunately, right now. Yeah. Um, so I just need to get some more stuff here. We're also going to be working on automating these today. Uh, so that'll be fun. But we're also going to be running some cables through the roof here, uh, through the, the capacitor. So it'll just be like a point here and then a point there. Uh, so it should look pretty cool. Okay, so while we have the aluminum processing here, I did go ahead and just refill this, put some cold coke up into here. Uh, we have this uh, being processed right now. It's not fast because this power generation power generation isn't all that good. Uh, so we're slowly building up some more biodiesel for our system here. Um, if I do turn it on, you will see that this will run. So, and then I have this going because we're going to need that for the green block thing on my bob. So anyway, to make the um, the little tube things I'm talking about, uh, these guys, the garden cloches. Uh, so this is what we're going to go ahead and need. We obviously need some I more iron, which is always amazing because we get to use our amazing ore duplicator down here. And I'm always a big fan of this guy. Uh, so I do have a five iron ingots in here. We only have four aluminum. Oof. That is low. Uh, I didn't do any mining for bauxite yet. I'll have to do that later on. But yeah, let's go ahead here, and we have four aluminum, so we should be able to make one of these, yes. So we can start to connect some power coming from it. Where's my terracotta? Ah, bottom one, okay. So come here, bam, look at that, high voltage, baby. Yeah, and then to make this, it's going to be aluminum, oh, aluminum and steel. Okay, so it's not as expensive as I thought. Very cool, we might actually get into some metal pressing too. But the reason I've been using immersive engineering so much, guys, and not mechanism is because I really want to learn uh, immersive engineering. It's been in several packs that I've played, but I've never really got into it. And I've only done the garden cloches really late game. So doing this here, I'm just kind of challenging myself to uh, use this mod more than I normally would. Uh, so if you guys are like, hey, you should be really using mechanism to make steel. It's like, I know that it's better, but I want to go ahead and like challenge myself with a with this so that maybe in the future if I ever need this, like if there's a pack that mechanism isn't in, uh, that I have this uh, in my repertoire. So to make the garden cloche here, we're gonna need to make this vacuum tube and we're also gonna need to make an engineer's blueprint. Now to make this, we just need some blue dye and it looks like gunpowder and empty casing, which is just copper. Okay, I do believe we have enough copper for that somewhere. Um, let's see here. Copper is a hot commodity. Oof. Are we out of copper? I think we might be out of copper. All right. Well, to move forward, it looks like I need to do a mining session. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys. And I will be back with you in just a moment. So about an hour of mining and seven aluminum ingots. Yeah, it's pretty sparse. We're going to need a digital miner to really get any more, but I did get some more uh, clay, so that'll be helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and smelt this up. Very cool, but I used all of the the coal already, so i got to switch out. Okay, so now we got more coal. Let's go ahead and put it in here. Okay, so I want to go ahead, make some progress towards this. So we're going to need empty casing, engineer's blueprint. Oh! Check it out. We can just need uh wait, hold up. Crafting components. Okay, so we need one copper, one aluminum, and one iron, and then some paper and some blue dye. Okay, got that. Make the paper. All right, one iron ingot. I have the aluminum on me. And then, um, I'm just going to take this copper and smelt it up real quick. We just need one ingot. 
All right, we should be able to make this guy now. Crafting components, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and throw this guy over here. And yeah, as you can see, we start to make the vacuum tubes here. We can also start to make the iron. So this takes two iron plates and one copper ingot. So it takes like half of what this used to take. Um, yeah, we still got iron processing. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of sneak some uh, some copper in. <laughs> well, it actually just waits for this to smell. No, that popped it out. And then once we get, yeah, we're gonna get some copper dust here. We're gonna switch it over. Yes. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and make some. That's kind of cool looking. Anyway, uh, we need to make these guys. Okay, so we got the plates here. So to make these, we need the iron plates and the copper. Yeah, look at that. We made two. Much cheaper now. Uh, so for this, we just need glass, a nickel plate, copper wire, and redstone dust. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some more copper. Cool. So we're going to need to smash this. Boil and mash them, stick them in a stew. You know, the, the typical stuff. And then we're also going to need to get some nickel. Look, a nickel. We're going to need to smash this into a stew. We're going to need some redstone. Then we're going to, 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 we're going to. Some glass. We need the snips for the copper plates. Okay, what else do we need then? I think that's everything. All right, so glass, nickel plate, copper wire, redstone. That makes three amazing. We just need like two of these. Uh, so I just need to find another piece of nickel. Look at that, we got nickel, nickel. Another day, another nickel. All right, so now we can make a total of the wheel. We have nine of these now. Very, very cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We do need one more steel plate though, because we're gonna make a total. We're gonna be making these, these peeps, pipes. So let's grab the nickel, copper, sorry. We're gonna make some more of those plates. All right, so we got a total of seven of these guys now. Uh, let's grab the glass. Out of oh, we don't have any glass in there. <clears throat> That's right. Now we need is just treated wood. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. This is going to be great. Okay, so I'm trying to think here. Where's the best place to put this guy? I want to keep it in here. I think we're actually just going to put them in in this little area. These are three tall. Uh, so we'll just need to make the back look pretty good eventually. But we'll leave that open for now. Okay, so bam. And we actually need to place these from this side. It's very important which direction you place these from. I've always found that once you place it and you try to move it afterward, it does not work very well. So always place it the, the direction you want the items to go out. Uh, so these are just going to be here. We'll just have some very basic cables running on the top of those. But in here, we can go ahead and place some dirt in for some soil. Uh, we're going to get some potatoes and the hemp seeds. And we're going to be putting those into our, our our system over here. Do we have any that are full grown yet? Yep, we do. We got one. That didn't yield anything. Um, That's fun. All right, so we got the hemp seeds that we need. The hemp seeds are what the other... Um, but what the thing processes, I guess. Um, so the thing we also need is we need the conveyor belt. Yes. Uh, conveyor belt. Extracting conveyor belt. I believe this thing just puts it on. So this takes leather, iron, and redstone. Cool thing is we have a heck ton of leather because of our um zombie farm which is really neat yeah oh it even takes rotten leather too that's amazing 
Let's go ahead and grab the seeds here. We'll put these away because we won't be needing them. We'll grab this leather. We'll grab a bunch of iron, redstone, more iron. We have a bunch of iron smelting up. Um, so we can go ahead and make some of these. No problem. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, we got a lot. Okay, so what is this? Redstone control conveyor belt, dropping conveyor belt. So we're going to be getting into these. Oh, look, splitting. That's cool. Can make a vertical one. That's not a bad idea. That's not even expensive. So that's how we're going to get these around. Okay, so the conveyor belts come out of the back here. Actually, I need to get some, some blocks for it. Okay, I've got some stone bricks here that we can put the conveyor belts on. So these are going to come out of here. And I want these to go down and loop around. Um, so if we go like this, whoops, that's not right. Hmm, I thought these could be angled. Hmm. I mean, that will probably work, but it doesn't look as good. And then, so wait, let's see. Oh, I get it. Okay, so you just need to place it on the side of the block there, and then it will bring you up. And so if we throw, say, an item here. Whoa, so cool. Okay, cool. So going up is easy. Um, how do you go down? Hmm. So looks like we'll just probably drop, drop them off like that. We can do that. That's not as cool, but it will look good coming up here to this guy. Um, so let's see here. Okay, I'm probably going to need some vertical ones, unfortunately. I didn't really want to use them, but the, the way I want this to be automated, I'm going to have to have them. So let me go ahead. I'm going to keep working on this. I'll see if I can get the uh, like a system that I like, and then I'll come back with you guys. Okay, so this is what we're going to go with here. Uh, now, check this out. So if I throw this block right here, it will go all the way down, and eventually will make its way over here. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. Comes up here, gets thrown under there, and it's already in our system. So all we need to do is now just get this one hooked up over here. I'm going to do a very similar looking one to that. Uh, so what we'll do here, uh, we'll just put it in. And you have to... Um, whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't put me in there! Don't put me in there! Ah! Ah! Okay, so um, the side that the vertical... Um, this guy here, the vertical conveyor belt, needs to be on the side that is going up. Because otherwise, it will throw it the opposite way. There's no way to do it. So it's a little kind of not fun. Uh, but that's okay. Um, so I actually think we're going to run this one one block lower here. Um, and actually, I think we should run it in here. Okay, so we'll just place these blocks like that. And then this. And then we're going to break this down one more block. And then once we place this going in, it'll automatically fill in. So now we just need to run it over here. Um, yeah. So the block will fall, be pushed over here. Come over this way, we can help it out. Come up here, get pulled up, get thrown onto here, and then in there. Very, very cool. So look at that. Those are technically automated. Or these are, well, they get automated to item delivery. 
which is pretty cool. Uh, we do need to go ahead and light that up in there because it's going to be pretty dark. We don't want that. Okay, so those have been lit up. They're doing pretty. They're doing pretty good. Uh, one thing we're going to want to do is get some. Uh, is a sink in this pack? I believe it is. Yes, infinite water. Very cool. Okay, so to make this, yeah, we just need some clay, which we do have. We're gonna need a bucket of water. Wish you could just fill it up by holding this up. Be like, hello, give me water. But no, it's gotta be difficile. Grab this. We will get a potato, get some hemp seeds. All right. So we're back here. We're just going to put whatever we need in the proper spot. Um, so the fermenter. Uh, okay. So the far one. This needs to be potatoes, and this needs to be the hemp seeds. So once those grow, those will go into there. Uh, but what do we need for the sink? We have everything we need for the sink. Okay. Uh, so what about do do the pipes? Does this work? Okay, so this is where the water goes in. I don't know. That's not a pipe. I don't know if this works. Does it pump out of there? Okay, no, it doesn't seem to. Okay. That makes it interesting. Um, what do we have for a pipe? Hmm. So I do have a pump that we can power. Uh, where did I actually put it? I ended up crafting it, never needing it. There it is. Okay, so we might just need to put this over an infinite water source. Um, that might be our best our best bet at this point, so we can go ahead and test that out. Okay, so we could just come over here. Like this. We'll set up the infinite water source here. Put the pump here. And then where in the world do we pull the water out of? Um, we just connect a pipe to it? Yep, we sure can. Okay, so that might work. Now we're going to have to put a uh, transformer in here for the power. Um, so that way we can get everything going and then we're also going to probably put a block here so that's okay so the transformer will probably go um, we're going to bring this up one more block transformer will probably go there we'll power there we'll power that and then we'll run a cable over here the reason we need a transformer is because this is going to be high voltage and if we don't have that transformer there it will i think blow the circuit Yeah, well, well, probably not. Um, but it does look pretty cool. We're not actually going to use that at all. We're just going to use another one of those guys. Oh, uh, what I mean, those guys, I mean. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Where's that capacitor? Yes, low voltage capacitor. So we're going to run power to here from our diesel generator like so, and then we can configure the bottom to be the output, opposite side energy input, and then we'll run the cable up above that. And so now we just need to find our low voltage guys. That's our high voltage, that'll be on top. Okay, low voltage, do I have any more? Yes, got low voltage here, perfect. Got a relay, perfect. I don't think we'll need, actually we will need the relay. Um. Wait a sec. That's right, I couldn't do it. Never mind, I figured it out. Our cow's still missing. Okay, so we got the low voltage wire. So what we're gonna have to do is we will power here. 
relay, and then the relay will be able to connect everything together. So a little voltage here. Hey, 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 hey. It's trying to suck it me in. Okay, and then you to you, you to you, and you to you, and then you to you. Okay, so then we have power flowing. Everyone's getting power, everyone's getting water. So this should go once we get power to it. Hey, 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 all right, so now we need to get up into the roof here. We're gonna need to set up some high voltage stuff going on. Um, we also need to focus on getting one of these. Uh, now I do have the aluminum for one of them. Um, so to get that, we need green dye, which we should be able to make no problem, even if I don't have any. I'm gonna check to see if I have any real quick. Okay, I don't see any green dye, so we need to go over here. To our cactus farm. I set up one similar on this to on the Super Turtle fan server. Uh, let's see how much we got here. Ooh, 534. That's dope. Dope. But it was me, Dio. So we'll get that smelt in here. Uh, the crusher should have iron in it. The iron dust. Perfect. All right. That generator, guys, is going to be so stinking loud. Um, see what else do we need? Glass, iron dust, green dye. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to make this no issue now. Yeah, look at that. All right, I put my aluminum away, being dumb. All right, relay. Yeah, I made eight of those. That's awesome. So now all we need is this. Uh, so we'll just turn our remaining two here into that. Our remaining two, we had three, but we're going to turn two into it. All right, now we also need some steel to be kind of heckin' smashed. We are getting close to needing a base upgrade, guys. I'm not very happy about it. Okay, and so all we need for that is a stick. And was a high voltage, baby. We got more power, baby. All right, so let's get this guy off. Um, going to be running power just straight up from the middle guy. And then I need to get up there. Okay, so I'm going to pillar up here because power and then relay and me uh, connect okay yeah this will probably kill me instantly if I'm not careful and I might actually need to go up another block uh, actually no I don't I think I'm okay This whole place will probably be um, eventually like chiseled out, but unfortunately for now it will not be. Because we're gonna run power from our generator all over to this. Everything will run off of our diesel generator there. Um, is there a good spot to really build up to get into the roof? Yes, here. Okay. Look at that, we found it. Cool. So all we need to do, uh, we're gonna be placing these guys on here. All right, so we need high voltage, relay. Can I, are these good enough to connect this long distance? 
Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see if that did anything. Should have gotten. Okay, let's just turn it on then. Okay, these are getting power. All right, but how does the... Oh, this is so loud. Holy heck. Oh, my goodness. That did not hurt. Okay, so how, how does the pump actually work? This is confusing. Okay, I guess we got to check the book then, which is stupid. And that generator is probably going to need to get moved outside or something. I got the book here. Um, all right, guys, so I figured out what it was. Uh, you have to click this. Uh, so fluid input there should... Ow. And then we need to go fluid output. Uh-oh. Did not mean to click that. All right, so let's turn this guy back on, see if that helps at all. Ha-ha! <laughs> so it turns out this thing is off by default and just needs a, um, a redstone signal. So you have to set the bottom side here for the input. Uh, if we look here, uh, input, and then over here is the output. So after that, it's like, hey, I know how to do my job, and I'm going to do it right. So now everything is running. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Might have gotten a few blocks in there. That shouldn't have been. Uh, but these are going to be running off of these guys for a little bit. Yeah, I should have a bunch left over. Yeah, check it out. I got a, I got a bunch left over of cold coke. Sort of doing the blocks. And we just saw that go in. And now it's working. Oh, man. That is cool. So until we get these hooked up all the way, I'm going to keep keep them on this so that the this guy keeps running. Um, but yeah, guys. Now, is there a better fertilizer that we can use? Um, no, I don't think so. So we might need to set up more than just one of these, but the reason why that's continuously on is because this guy is taking power to pump uh, the fluid in. Uh, so if we go like that, it'll fill up, and then it should stop. Actually, no, these guys are running now, so it's going to be running nonstop. Uh, but it's using hardly any power. But this thing is just stupid loud. Is there any way to turn it down? Yeah, we can turn it down. Good. Okay, so that's much better. Oh, it turned off. I think it's out of, out of fuel. Um, but now this thing will... Uh, almost run out stuff. Now we need to find out what to do with the industrial fiber. Um, hmm. I almost think it wouldn't be a bad idea. Hmm. That's a tough one. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, because we do know that these are working properly, and I just got shocked. Zap. So they get pulled out of here, they get thrown onto their proper conveyor belts there, uh, and they go into it. As you can see, it is working over here. We're almost, yep, oh yeah, dang it. Okay, those get grown, we pick them up. And then every once in a while, yep, we do see that the seeds get over here. Um, what can we even use this for? Hemp rope coil, blade quiver. Hempcrete. That didn't look half bad. Uh, we can make, oh, the tough fabric for the windmill. Gunpowder barrel. Interesting. So we're going to need quite a few of these going. I want to have almost like a backlog of them. Um, hmm. Like these will just run whenever they can. 
So yeah, I'm gonna need to make a bunch more of these off camera. Uh, this is where they're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna kind of file them here. We're gonna change up where the, the drops are just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's see how much time we got left in the video. All right, guys, today we are at the end of the episode, unfortunately, but I did want to let you know that uh, there is another thing we can add in here, which is the bone meal for the fertilizer. Now, I do want to find a way to automate this, and I'm pretty sure it needs to be this front port here for the fertilizer, uh, but we can go ahead and set it up so that the bones that we have, as we have a lot of bone blocks, and then we also have a skeleton farm, that those can go ahead and actually start to uh, automatically feed in here so we get a better growth modifier. Now, this isn't all the way up yet because it hasn't used any of the fertilizer yet. It's used this, uh, but this will go through, and then it will make it grow, I think, 25% faster for... Um, bone meal, which is pretty awesome. We get an additional 25%. So I'd like to go ahead and just wait for this to wear out real quick, and then we'll go ahead and uh, see if that's the case. All right, as we can see, the growth modifier is up 25% here. We did end up using one of the bone meal. Uh, so that is awesome. This should be the same as well. Yes. So this is growing slightly faster. Uh, we'll need to go ahead and get a few of these going, uh, but it shouldn't be too difficult at all. We're going to just be using this, and I'll probably end up just kicking some of it over here to the right because we do have more room. As you can see, that's grass over there. So we're limited at how far back we can go here without poking out, and I don't really want to change the terrain too much outside. Uh, but this is where we're going to have all of our, uh, I guess, our plant power. We're running on plant power, baby. We got more power, baby. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is going off uh, every once in a while. It goes off a little bit more, and that's just because we're waiting on that to be made. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. <gasps> You're amazing. More, and that's just because we're waiting on that to be made. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye. <gasps> You're amazing.